Your camera is fully loaded. Your batteries have been filled up. You're ready to go out into the world and start your dream photography business. Marketing is a key part of any photography business that wants to do well. The more people who know about you and your work, the more jobs and money you can get. Whether you're just starting out or have a business that's been around for a while, it's important to make a marketing plan that spells out your goals and what you need to do to reach them. Marketing plans can help you order the steps you need to take, give you an idea of how much they might cost, and point you in the right direction. 1. Learn about the market and figure out what kind of photography you are good at. If you want to sell yourself well, you'll need to think about what you know and what skills you have. Marketing is all about standing out from your competitors and showing people why they should hire you instead of someone else. The first step is to figure out what makes your work different and who you are fighting against. Pick a specialization. Even if you like all kinds of shooting, it's best to pick one to specialize in. If your portfolio is full of every type of photography under the sun, it may send the message to clients that you don't have a specific style or that you haven't learned the type of photography they want. How good are you with animals? You could try taking pictures of pets or wildlife. Have a strong group of business contacts. Think about specializing in headshots and business events if you want to do portrait photography. Are you a die-hard sports fan? Start taking pictures of sports. If you choose a niche or area of expertise, you can become a recognized expert in that field. It also gives you a great place to start building your marketing plan, since you can narrow down your target group and focus on more specific messaging. Make sure that whatever area you choose has room to grow and can change as the market does. Find out what makes you different. When looking at your genre choices, it's important to choose a specialty that you enjoy, fits your unique skills, and can help you be successful. You should also take advantage of anything that makes you different from your competitors. For example, if you want to be known as a wedding photographer, you need to decide what kinds of weddings you want to shoot. Do you do better with artificial light or natural light? Are you ready to go somewhere? Do you like standard style or photojournalism? When you think about this question, think about what you do well. If you are good at catching small details or love black and white photos, think about how you could use this to build your business. Find out who you are up against. It's always smart to check out your competition, but you shouldn't let what other people do scare you. For example, just because there are a lot of family picture photographers in your area doesn't mean you have to choose a different genre. Instead, think of ways to take family photos from a different point of view. You can also look at the prices of your competitors to help you figure out how to set your own prices. Is your goal to be competitive, to have the best price in your area, or to have the lowest price? Always keep in mind who you want to sell to. For the best results, your prices should match your dream client. 2. Find your target group. When you don't know who your market is, it's hard to sell yourself. When you're ready to market, you'll know where to start if you know who you're talking to. Who is your perfect customer? Think about who you might want to offer your skills to. It can be helpful to come up with a few different ideal client personas so you can think about what kind of message might work with them. Are they mostly men, mostly women, or a mix of both? What age group has the most people? Where can you find them? Which sites do they go to? You should also think about whether your target market is big enough to keep you going. How many people in your area might need your services and how much money will you make from each session? Be conservative with your estimates and never plan for the long run based on clients who come back to you. 3. Get a page with everything on it. We can't say enough about this. As a professional shooter, you must have a website that looks good and is easy to use. Look for a company that offers all of the following. A place to do business online that lets you sell pictures and prints. A simple layout that makes it easy for clients to book your services. Online proofing tools and albums let your clients share your work with family and friends. A good way to show off your collection. Optimize your site for mobile devices so that it looks great on all kinds of screens. Some services even come with built-in tools for marketing and selling, like SEO tools, a blog, a sign-in page for visitors, a shopping cart, and personalized price lists. These will help you save time and make more money. 4. Make your business plans and plans of action. Even if your website looks great and works well, 
it doesn't mean much if people can't find it. That's why SEO and built-in promotion tools are helpful. SEO and making material and blogs. People usually use a search engine like Google, Bing, or Yahoo to look for things online. Search engines go through the whole internet, looking for the things you type in and then give you results based on what they find. If those terms are in the text on your website, your site is more likely to come up in search results. Search engine optimization, SEO, is the process of putting keywords on the pages of your site. Keywords can include details like where you live, what kind of photography you do, and how much you charge. If you want your website to focus more on featured images than writing, you can still use keywords in titles, captions, tags, and locations. In the end, making content that search engines will send people to will help your marketing efforts. Client lists. When making a plan for marketing, it helps to know how to get in touch with the people you want to sell to. Look for a website service that lets you collect and store information about both your current customers and people who visit your site. To do this, you can make visitors sign in with their names, emails, and phone numbers before they can enter a museum. Once you have a client database, it will be a lot easier to send emails and promotions to past and future clients. Automating work processes. Some website services let you automate your workflow, which lets you do more with less work. An automatic workflow can handle things like booking lessons, adding them to your calendar, and collecting payments while you're editing. This lets you do more than one thing at once. This means you'll spend less time making galleries or plain phone tag with clients and more time doing what you love. 5. Develop your selling tactics. A marketing plan is made to help sell something. Once you've made your website and thought of ways to sell it, you're ready to go. Prices and services. Even though photography is a creative hobby, you'll need to put on your business hat when figuring out how much to charge. Your prices should bring in enough money for your business to do well and keep you competitive. Email ads. If you have the right tool, it's easy to market your work on your website. If your site lets visitors sign up and give their email addresses, having that information automatically saved in a contact list will save you a lot of time when you want to send marketing emails. Promotional email blasts work well, don't cost much, and are easy to send to the right people. Spread them out over the course of the year to the people on your contact lists by using seasonal promotions, timely offers, and reminders of goods you've bought or reviewed before. Regular newsletters that show off your latest work and new goods can also keep your contacts interested. Mixing salesy emails with helpful information like what to wear for your fall session makes sure that you won't just be another ad in their inbox. Don't forget to give people a way to opt out if they want to, but try to keep things interesting so they won't want to. Social media. Your business can grow with the help of social media. Setting up an account for your business is free on most platforms, and it gives you the ability to reach the more than 4.5 billion people who use social media around the world. Allow your clients to share photos you've taken on their Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and Google Plus pages to reach more people. And don't be afraid to share some of your successes on your own social media pages. It may remind someone in your inner group to tell their own contacts about your business. Networking in person. Having a chat with someone in person may be the most effective way to market your business. Local events that fit your niche are a great way to get in front of your target market. For example, if you photograph weddings, take part in wedding vendor gatherings, bridal shows, or talk to jewelry and bridal shops in your area to see if they have any events or promotions you can join. Meeting possible clients in person or through other businesses can help you build relationships and sell your services in a big way. 6. Set financial goals and evaluate your success. You'll want to know for sure if all your hard work is paying off. Keeping track of your funds is the best way to see how well your marketing plan is working. By making a target salary and keeping track of other expenses, you'll have a better idea of how much money and time you can spend on your marketing strategies. You'll also be able to make goals that are attainable and keep track of how well your marketing tactics are working. With this knowledge, you can make better business and marketing decisions in the future that will help you do well. You don't have to know everything there is to know about marketing to grow your business. By making a well-thought-out plan for marketing that uses the tools you already have, 
you'll be well on your way to getting more bookings and doing more of what you do best.